Why is my system running so hot? It hits nearly 50 degrees and I'm quite worried. I'm hoping that it won't blow up. Why is it taking forever to load in? I've got a decent gaming machine. I hope I didn't get scammed. Why is my computer running so loud? I'm not doing anything wrong. Is there a virus or something? Why is my memory being used? I'm not doing anything right now. My computer is idle. I don't really know what's going on here. Why is Far Cry so laggy on this computer? I've got an Athlon 64 and this is really an old game and the Athlon 64 seems to be quite powerful but I'm not sure why it is lagging. CPU computes several complex algorithms as the speed of computer billions fans of cycles to reckon sometimes. It is acceptable Through to generate the amount of to memory and GPUs and GPUs to the sometimes and RAM. All of this is just way too hard. Let's instead watch Pro Gaming 2008 explained videos because he explains things way better than that. Hey guys, this is Pro Gaming 2008 and welcome to the first explained video of this channel. To start the explained videos, today we're going to explain something that most basic computer users do not know. It is how a computer works properly. We're going to explain every component because it's with components that your computer works fine. We're going to explain which component is used for what as quick as possible. So let's get started, shall we? Let's start right off with the CPU or the central processing unit. This component is known also as the processor or the computer's brain. Yes, that's right, computer's brain. Why do you ask? Because it's the essential component of a computer that tells all the other components of the computer what to do, what to show, which task to perform. I have two processors, one from Intel, one from AMD, aka the two main manufacturers for CPUs. This here is a PGA processor because it has a lot of pins on the back. AMD only manufactures these processors today. And this here is an LGA processor. It has no pins, it instead has a lot of pads and has a lot of capacitors in the middle. Only Intel manufactures the LGA processors today. And I don't have any VGA processors on hand on me, so sorry. If you are wondering what is a VGA or ball grid array processor, it's a CPU that is directly soldered into the socket. It makes it extremely secure, but almost impossible to remove or replace. It's commonly found in laptops a few years ago, but the BGA sockets are not used in modern laptops anymore. They are replaced with different sockets that have CPUs that are non-BGA. Have you ever been wondering why your CPU is overheating? Well, now you're going to know why. You might not realize it, but inside your processor, there are hundreds of millions or even hundreds of billions of transistors inside the PCB. Let's say you're going to do a CPU intensive task like gaming, rendering, video editing or even browsing the internet. When you're doing a CPU intensive task like these, the chip inside the processor sends electricity to every transistor and naturally this gives a ton of heat. And to cool down the CPUs, we use heat sinks with a fan or water cooling. These two cooling solutions actually have two types of highly conductive metals to dissipate the heat that the CPU generates. We have copper and aluminum. These metals are actually located where the cooler makes contact with the CPU. So the CPU heats up transfers the heat to the heat sink and the heat sink dissipates that heat so it can cool down the processor. So all of this was all about the computer's brain or the CPU. Now let's move on to the RAM. 